Hello and welcome back. I'm Bball Joe, and this is a tutorial for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. There has been a new update for how you can assign construction offices to construction sites, and I want to tell you all about that. Let me tell you, I'm really excited about this. You see this row of construction offices? It's a lot. I didn't count them. It doesn't matter how many there are, but there are a lot. You remember how you had to assign these construction offices to constructions? I'll remind you. We have a little city set up here. Um, it's nothing perfect, but it will work for exactly what we want right now. We just need people to work. But back in the day, when you would allow these guys to auto search anywhere you wanted within the range that is available, you would say, okay, um, I want you to build something. And then you build one building. Let's say this one. It really doesn't matter what it is. But you say, I want you to build this. And the buildings or the construction offices would auto assign it after you have contact to it, meaning the road is available. Now this guy says, yeah, I'm assigned to it. That's okay. And that worked just fine. And then your Republic grew and grew and grew. Imagine there is a little video right now where you see maybe my season one. Um, and the Republic is huge and you have a lot of construction offices at the same time. This doesn't work because now every construction office does a weird order of operations. So the next thing you do, once you start being a little more experienced, you turn off the auto search feature on every single one of these. And I'll do that because I didn't turn it off yet. Now, all of these construction offices are turned off for auto search. They all look like this. They're not looking for anything, but everyone still has assigned that one building that you didn't already click away. Now you can just say, cancel this assignment. Don't do that. And that's fine, but you would have to do it for all of them. The other options to go here and say, suspend construction. Um, we're going to enable construction now. All of the construction offices have that construction unassigned. Yeah, that's fine. And now what? Well... If you find yourself with having 20 different construction sites set up here and you want to build them, they look very similar to, actually, let's do a dirt road so I can show you exactly what I mean. Because dirt road is free and it's built instantaneously. You don't have to worry about it. And then just for simplicity, I'm going to use these guys. Build your buildings, however many you want. I'm going to use just the same one just to represent a point. Um, let's say this number of buildings that you want to build, how would you assign these? Well, there are a couple different ways in the old way. The old way was, for example, clicking all of the construction offices that you want, however you have them set up, whatever buildings you have assigned to them, however they're uh, dedicated, maybe you have dedicated road, maybe you have dedicated buildings, maybe you have de dedicated electricity, all of that is great. When you do that, I definitely highly recommend rename your building dedicated one doesn't matter what it is but rename them so you know what they are but then you would go to whatever buildings or whatever construction offices you had you would scroll down you had to click on the assign a new construction click that one cool then you go to the next one click on the thing first to unassign it then to assign it click on the construction that you want and yay that one's done too they have added this highlighting that will tell you if the construction office you currently have selected and clicked on what's assigned to it and there's one and now you could go through and just keep clicking these buttons and if you do it right you do it this way if you do it not right um you will change them every time but there is a lot of clicking going on so that's really really terrible and boring then there was a second iteration that most of you will probably already know about where you could click on the building and say, oh, I would like to assign construction offices. And you click on this little button over here. It shows you everything that's in range with the distance of how far they are away driving and what they currently have. I don't have anything set up, so all of these say nothing. But if I take any of these and assign them um, some of these units, you should see um, these things highlighted, and they will tell you they can get all of these things now. So cool, that's nice, and you can get to them. But to assign them, you still have to click all the buttons, and then your UI changes a little bit and you keep clicking buttons and this is like, oh yeah, it's okay, this is good now. And then you click okay. Now everything is assigned and that is wonderful, but it took a lot of clicks. Now you still have to do that for every single other building that you ever want to do. And if you forget to do that at some point, nothing's going to get done. So that is also a little awful, in my opinion. Now, 3 Division has added a new way and that will change your mind, your life, your game your style, your everything. It's amazing. 
any of the construction of um, construction menus have this button now construction office assign tool and the reason i have this video today was that last week maybe this week i don't know where i'm going to release this um, i had a question of how you feel about this new feature and honestly there was a lot of negative feedback or feedback about i don't like it or i don't know how it works so here we are construction office assign tool click it first thing you can assign it to your hot bar i have assigned it on eight i don't think it matters where it is but you can so you don't have to go to a, um, your construction menu every time you want it so from here i click eight cool there it is or from nothing i can just click on up here use your use your hot key bar up here really honestly it's it's a life changer it's it saves you so much time so many clicks it's great so you have that enabled now and what do we do now we have this little thing over here i hope you can read it construction office assign tool there's a quick selection in here from one to zero these are all hotkeys you can use your numbers same as up here to select different groups now you have to keep track of what group is what but it's really not that bad and then there are three options assign construction office mode blue assign construction mode green and cancer construction mode and then here you have this little um, highlighting again that we had on the assigned construction offices that tells you what all is available in this group. So, sorry, didn't mean to click that away. What we need to start with is assign your construction offices. Pick any construction office that you want. And again, this is completely up to you how you want to set this up. You can stick with road is road, me uh, mechanisms is mechanisms, uh, flatbeds are flat. Like you can keep it however you want to do this, but you can mix them. What do I mean? Assign construction office. Like whatever construction office you want and once you do it's blue awesome do more okay now we have a group of these five construction offices whatever they are whatever they do doesn't matter but you can see what's all assigned to this group what they're able to do and that's awesome and you're like okay and it tells you all the construction offices you have in here if you don't want the construction office in that group anymore simply click the button and it will take the blue off that construction office if you don't want the group anymore at all click the clear actual quick selection takes care of everything and then build your groups it doesn't matter what the groups are at all but my one is this and you can cross groups because group one has these four assigned group two has nothing assigned yet i can take group, um, construction offices from the first group no problem they're all assigned and this is really again up to you how you want to build these construction offices but now instead of, instead of having one small construction office that in a larger republic generally does not have enough capacity to fulfill everything that you wanted to do you're essentially building one humongous construction office uh, with several different construction offices spread across wherever you are now distance does still matter if they're not in range to go somewhere that cannot be assigned to the construction site so that keep that in mind but in general you can do this as many times as you want for all your different action groups i'm just going to assign a few of these so you see it um, and these two for that one and now you can just switch between your um, quick selections so clicking one here tells you it's these um, four construction offices two here it's those five three is those four uh, five and then four is these two and you can assign as many as you want cool you say now you have assigned stuff what do you do with it and this is the best part change your action to assign construction mode and you can click on whatever you want Okay, now this construction group, which is construction group four, has these three assigned. You can switch to construction group one, do the same thing, and these are just left clicks. Um, two has those assigned already because a partial group of this group um, in the construction office has these assigned. So there's, there's a little bit of overlap, but if you really want to assign it to this const uh, these construction units, just override it. It's fine. Um, it's, yeah. So as you can see, there's a highlighted green and there's a darker green. The highlighted means the whole group is assigned to it. The darker means only partial um, units of this group are assigned to it. So far, everything is pretty okay, but what do you do if you don't want that anymore? Well, just click cancel. That's fine. You can do that for all the groups or you can just get rid of the groups and that all makes sense. Now the best part, I saved the best for last here. I hope you would agree. Go to your assign construction mode click anywhere drag assign however many you want at the same time no more clicking 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 until you didn't want to click anymore you can just say i want all of these for group three group two uh, that's f2 group two 
please do these three. Group three, um, group four, please do these three. And now because we have construction offices overlapping a lot of our other construction offices, there's just partially already stuff assigned and that is fine. But you can do this and now everyone's happy. Everything gets built and you can, can assign them however you want and especially with the drag and assignment ability, making roads work, making footpaths work, making anything else work is no problem. And here's the other cool thing. If you decide, oh wait, I didn't want to do all of that. You can go in and click and unassign every single construction office and have a little bouncing on the window and that's all annoying. Or you go back to your hotkey and say, cancel construction mode. Same thing. You just cancel everything you just assigned to that group. No problem. No problem at all. Everything is gone. And you are saving yourself hundreds of clicks if you go this way. Hundreds of clicks. Um... I think this will change the construction office game. This will change the construction office assignments, how you want to build your construction, of how you put them together, how they work together now. Everything I think is going to change, and this is an awesome addition to the game. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, uh, you know what to do. I hope I see you again next time, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.